Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'll be watching Beverly Hills Cop. On Patreon, I did a poll for Eddie Murphy movies. Because Eddie Murphy is someone that I feel like I've known since I was little, his name at least. And I think I've only seen one movie with him so far, which is Trading Places. So I was like, okay, we're long overdue with another Eddie Murphy movie. Beverly Hills Cop was a very clear winner, but Coming to America has a very close second. So let me know in the comments if you want me to watch Coming to America as well. Shrek did amazing too. It's funny, you have those three movies and then like it's a very, very long time until you see number four on that poll so yeah patreon if you want to vote for next movies that's always a place to be other than that i kind of don't know anything i assume this is going to be a fun movie and i don't know much about beverly hills except for that i'm a real housewives of beverly hills junkie so i do know the drama surrounding the housewives living there but <laughs> i kind of have no clue so in that sense i'm in a really good mood i cleaned all day and i need some relaxation some fun movie and i'm here for it if you like today's reaction make sure to like and subscribe the full reaction as always you can find over on patreon together with the edited versions and i'm working towards putting everything on patreon two weeks ahead so beware that's coming let's go i did not look up any other actors so <laughs> kind of going a little bit blind here all right this is what i'm talking about Oh my god, I know this song. The only lyrics I know is the heat is on, on though, so. <laughs> oh, the kids! I know, music is super catchy, but it doesn't seem to be. Like, I'm not attracted to live there, if I'm honest, from what I've seen so far. This truck looks great. There must be a fucking fortune here. Yeah, just give us a minute, okay? No, I ain't got no more minutes. I <laughs> ain't got no more minutes. You know what this is in here? You know what this is? It's a federal tax stamp. You can't beat that. You can't get no cleaning in that. So why don't you keep me going? Business yourself. It's a <laughs> I'm a businessman. I'm gonna sit down. Do what you want to do. Oh, he speaks so quick. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Shop kid, Thank like you very it. much. I appreciate it. How much is that? The deal is for five thousand. That's about two thousand that you, you know count what? yourself. You don't want this pisses me off. I told my people it's supposed to be five grand here. Ooh. Take the two fucking grand, and on the next score. I promise I'll make it up to you. Yeah, you won't. Jerk somebody else off. This is bullshit. I need, I need five thousand dollars, not two thousand dollar thing, man. Don't do this to me. Yeah, no jerking off here. Where's the three grand? Five thousand dollars. Read my lips. Dollar. Thousand dollars is what I need. <laughs> I, I don't got, smoke I like a strike. I, I smoke to. king size. Can't. I, can't, I can't make a price. Hello, officer. You ain't gonna believe this shit. Check this out. The truck, it just stopped, man. I assumed he would be an officer. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, man, that ain't me. I'm from Buffalo. Or he is, or he's undercover. <laughs> I want wow, what a slide. Behind the door. Oh, 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 oh. Whoops. Yes, chasing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh man i kind of want to watch some videos on stunt people and how they apply and how they're trained and because oh, my lip. thank god they ran like the music is so like happy peppy he's still smiling i wouldn't be smiling oh imagine how long it took him to make all these amazing fruits Oh, Molly! They must have gone to some kind of junkyard and be like, how many cars can we get for this movie to just wreck? Oh, is that a beetle? Was a beetle? Oh, he's not stopping. <laughs> I thought he was never stopping. See, yeah, he's undercover. Holy, we should have known it was you. <laughs> I don't have any time for you today, Todd's okay? looking for you. He is really pissed. You know what he said? This is your worst fuck up ever. Ooh. Personally, I don't think that's true. Oh, <laughs> there's been worse. <laughs> 
Now I heard you got caught up haggling for money or something. Look, two thousand dollars wasn't enough money if I would have taken those guys and known I was a cop. Ah, uh, that might be true as well. So if you would have said yes, I could have actually arrested them easier. I'm gonna go get my shit and get out of here. No, big mistake. Big mistake. You want my advice? No. You know what I'm you? No, I don't. Go in there, talk away from me. Be right back. Jeff, get away from me. I'm gonna shoot you. All right. It's like they're married. La 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 I am not listening to Jeffrey, but he's still talking. Is that fucking Foley in here? Told us some volume. You mind telling me where the fuck you come off going undercover without authorization from me? What the fuck is this all about? Don't you want to hear my side of the story? What's your fucking side of the story? Let's hear your side of the story. Amazing. I don't think cost is the issue here, sir. I think the issue should be my blatant disregard for proper procedure. You damn right, wise ass. He called him out. He called himself out. The deputy chief just chewed my ass out. You see, I don't have any bit of it left, don't you? When the fuck did you get a truckload of cigarettes from anyway? From the Dearborn hijack. That truck is supposed to be in the damn pound. Oh, <laughs> you used something that they confiscated. <laughs> One more time, you out on the street. Do you understand me, the boss? I'm surprised he gets another chance. Boss, the chief ain't chew it all out. You still got a little ass there. Oi, boy. <laughs> Not the time, nor the place, or the anything. Yeah, I feel like when a movie gives me the right music, I'm immediately like in a good mood. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, whoops. Oh, he switched hands quickly. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be laughing, man. What are you doing? Oh, right. I can't afford no electrical bill, though. Close my refrigerator. You got roaches and shit and all this out there. Who leaves a refrigerator open? You got out six months ago. You just coming to see me now? Well, he got me out a year early for, you know, a good time and, uh... For a good time. 10,000 Deutsche Marks. Oof. You stole them? No, it's not. I don't want to hear it, huh? Oh, boy. It's just good to see you, man. <laughs> Let's just ignore the illegal stuff on the table and be friends again. I was working. Working where? Guess. I don't know. Where were you working? Beverly Hills. I don't know where Detroit is compared to Beverly Hills. Should I check or not? Sorry, Americans. Oh, man, I haven't seen Jenny in years. What's she up to? She's a manager of this art gallery, the Halls Benton Art Gallery out in Beverly Hills. Yeah, I buy all my art there. <laughs> <laughs> 50 bucks, you don't make that shot. No, mother taught me never to bet. <laughs> it's a quick way to lose money. Miss, excuse me. Two more scotch so. If I was, I would make sure that I was a professional pool guy and then just go to bars and act like nothing's going on and do this all the time and then just be like, yep, la. <laughs> Let's steal a car. I feel like he needs another friend. Every time you stole the car, man. Oh, fucking Cadillac. Mm. Yo, how come you didn't tell on me when you got caught, man? How come you tell me we're together? Because I love you, man. That's so sweet and also it kind of means like he owes him because otherwise he would have been in jail too and now he's a cop. <laughs> I'm opening the door now, okay? <laughs> Here we go. That's up. Oh god. Yeah, this is your laundry. They showed up really quick. That's why you get lost. <gasps> is that Mark? Like oh. figured, you know. What? Uh -huh. Mikey is saying Mike things to Mike. Now he's a Mike. I swear. No. Oh. Oof. Oh. 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 oh what the. F what the. F um. Yeah. Okay. This was a lighthearted movie until now. I thought I told you to go to the hospital and get that bump on your head checked out. It's not a request, Axel. Oh my god. I heard a rumor that you're gonna use Rand on this case. It's the first time he's left his desk in 12 years. Oh, that's bad. Anyway, it's a homicide case and it belongs to Rand. And also, like, he's way too involved. This is his friend. Hey, look, we're talking about a friend of mine here. And let's take a close look at that. Oh no, that's not. One, a hootlum friend. Two, a professional hit. Three, in a cop's apartment. Yeah, it's a bad look. 
Stay out of this. Well, look, I got some vacation time coming to me. I want to take my vacation now. Oh, man, he does need a little vacation, but not the way that he's meaning it. <laughs> All right. As soon as you finish at the hospital, you're on vacation. Well, there was a murder in your hallway. But if you decide to butt into this case, it'd be the longest vacation you ever heard of. Oh, man, I really need the longest vacation I've ever heard of. His rusty ass car. <laughs> if anything, all these Real Housewives of Beverly Hills ladies that I watch, then they go travel to Europe or anywhere else for that matter. Super fancy. And then they still go like, hey, do you have a Louis Vuitton? Do you have this or this? And I'm like, literally travel to get to the same stores that you guys already have. Ooh, vibes. Oh, that guy. Checking in today, sir? No, tomorrow. Yeah, that's my bag in the front seat. Oh, I do wonder what the price is. May I help you? Yes, you have a reservation for an Axel Foley? Mmm. Uh, check Rolling Stone magazine's Axel Foley. Yikes. No, no Rolling Stone, no Axel Foley. I'm sorry, sir. Don't you think I realize what's going on here, miss? Uh-oh. I'm a small reporter from Rolling Stone magazine that's in town to do an exclusive interview with Michael Jackson that's going to be picked up by every major magazine in the country. Ooh. I was going to call the article, Michael Jackson is sitting on top of the world, but now I think I might as well just call it, Michael Jackson can sit on top of the world just as long as he doesn't sit in the Beverly Palm Hotel because there's no niggas allowed in there. <gasps> there is a room available. Oh, he went there. Uh, that'll be $235 a night, sir. His face. <laughs> if Mike will call, tell him, tell him what room I'm in. It is a whole new month and a whole lot of things are changing. So from now on, you can not only find the full length reactions on Patreon like two days in advance. No, you can also find the edited versions on Patreon and everything full length and edited two weeks in advance of YouTube. So if you've been watching along on Patreon, you noticed with Arcane that everything already appeared on Patreon as well and edited too. And now we're gonna start the same thing with Sopranos and with Stranger Things. So if you go to Patreon right now, you already see episodes that are not on here yet and everything will be two weeks ahead with Sopranos and Stranger Things edited and full length. We're gonna do the same thing with movies, but it takes a little while to get ahead as much because they just take longer editing time. Yeah, soon as well, everything movie-wise will be edited on Patreon two weeks ahead as well. As always, we also have some nice exclusives. The Wire season two, we start on Patreon exclusively and also The Pacific, which is a show that blew me away. So yeah, that one is on Patreon as well. If you would love to watch that with me, I was just blown away by it thank you so much if you join patreon if you consider joining i know that it's not the most fun thing to promote but honestly i really need it to pay for editors lately you guys might have followed it a bit copyright on youtube has been a mess on march almost all my videos got blocked or copyright claimed and we're working hard to work with that but i do need patreon if i want to keep working with editors and i need to because i don't have time to edit my own videos because i work still and i have a baby and so i don't have time <laughs> so yeah patreon actually at this point keeps the channel going so thank you for considering joining there and if you don't that's totally fine too but thank you just for understanding that it's existing and that's why i do this little clip in the middle of the video but i'm not gonna stop you any longer let's go back to the reaction oh my god look at the clothes oh <laughs> it's an interesting piece a lot of interesting pieces I don't know how to feel about that, but I guess I don't understand art. Hi, I'm Fan. My name is Serge, and how can I help you? I'm looking for Miss Jenny Summers. It's very busy today. My name is Axel Foley. And uh, what is pertaining? Is it trying to be French? Pertaining, what it's meaning, regarding. I'm an old acquaintance of hers. Donne, one moment. My man. Donne, run and tell me Summers that uh, Mr. Ahmed Foley is here to. <laughs> Ahmed, Ahwell, Axel. Well, he's here to see her. He's our old acquaintance. How does he speak? What is this? May I offer you something to drink? A wine, a cocktail? A... Cocktail. <laughs> Don't make it to myself right back there with a the little lemon twist. It's good. You should try it. No, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I was wondering how much something like this went for. $130,000. <laughs> Sell it yesterday to a collector. Get the fuck out of here! Somebody else has said it myself. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. Hold a second. I'll be right down. God, it's good to see you. 
I wonder what goes on in Serge's mind. You're getting old. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Mustache. Peach fuzz. Nah, that's man style now. <laughs> Peach fuzz. I love that description. I want to talk to you about Mikey. Oh, is he in trouble again? Oof. He's dead. He came to Detroit and somebody killed him. Oh boy. The guy who owns this gallery hired him as a favor of me. He was working for Victor at the gallery's warehouse. It is Victor guy. I don't know, do we like him? I have a delivery for Victor Maitland. Oh, I'll take it right upstairs to him. So British. And you're not really supposed to go up. Yeah, but floral delivery is my life. I have to take it up. Floral delivery is my life. <laughs> Love the passion. I have to ask you some questions about Michael Tandino. He came to see me in Detroit a couple of days ago. A couple hours after he got there, someone killed him. Oh, and he's right there. Yikes. Good gracious. Yeah, he looks really upset. I'm really sorry to hear this. <laughs> Detroit is a very violent city, isn't it? Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Foley, if I appear a little rude, but this sounds like something for the authorities in Detroit. What did he just do there? Call someone in? Must get back to work. Oh, someone's. Would you please show Mr. Foley to the door? Get the fuck hey, off. Hey, take it easy. Yo, get the fuck off! How do you have five people waiting to do this thing that takes a minute? Game, man? Hey, I'm fucking somebody up. Oh! Yeah, because there's no door, right? Okay. You see that shit? I can describe all of them. Please move to the side of the car and put your hands on the hood. It's like his personal police I called in. Gun partner. Sir, you are under arrest. Oh, and I guess he cannot have his gun with him when he's on a holiday. Please get in the car, sir. Yeah, but tell me, sir, what's the charge? Oh. Disturbing the peace I got thrown out of a window. I think that song also came as a ringtone when I was little and you had this frog dancing to it. Ding, ding. You have something like 911 in Belgium too and it used to be 100. So it was always like, as a kid, you learned you have to call the 100. Now they changed it to 112, the number, and everybody's like confused. Well, it's been a while already, but just like call the 100 is so much easier than, yeah, call 112. Wow, this looks like NASA. We have six witnesses that say you broke in and started tearing up the place, then jumped out the window. Six witnesses, huh? Hmm. We're more likely to believe an important local businessman than a foul-mouthed jerk from out of town. Foul-mouthed? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Ah! Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> she wants to start some static? Hey, don't push me. Fuck you, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Come here. Ooh, immediately pulled out. Sir, I apologize for striking you. <laughs> Is that his dad or what? <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Bogomil of the Beverly Hills Police Department. Bogomil. Do you wish to file charges against Sergeant Taggart? No, he said sorry. Look, where I'm from, cops don't file charges against other cops. They also don't punch them in the stomach, I think. What business did you have in Victor Maitland's office? I had to go to the bathroom. I was walking by, it looked like a nice clean place, so I stopped. You always take your gun on vacation? But in Detroit, cops are required to carry a firearm at all times. Also when they're having time off? I just got off the phone with an Inspector Todd in Detroit. Does that name ring a bell? Oof, hold out. He tells me you may not be very welcome back there. Mm. He says that you're an outstanding young detective. I find that very difficult to believe. <laughs> we met two minutes ago. He also says he nearly had to fire you for insubordination. I find that very easy to believe. Yeah. Now, what are you doing in Beverly Hills? I told you I'm on vacation. I went to the bathroom. The next thing I know, six guys threw me out a window. I hate when that happens. <laughs> he tells me if we inform him you are working on this case, he'll have you brought up on charges and fired. <sighs> now, one last time, what are you doing? I'm on vacation. vacation. <laughs> Okay. Pretty good punch you got there, Taggart. Maybe Taggart is gonna like him, right? Because he didn't press charges against him. Well, he could have. Thanks for bailing me out, Jen. You know, if I'd known why you'd been arrested, I wouldn't have come. This whole bail thing is so confusing to me. Like, oh, you're dangerous? Just give us some money and you can go. Okay. Is this your car? Damn, or it sells. Oh no, in Beverly Hills, we just take whichever car's closest. <laughs> <laughs> that be. Axel, why were you bothering Victor? I mean, you don't think he has anything to do with uh, Mikey getting killed, do you? Oh, no. That's her boss, so yeah, we think he does. Uh... 
Victor Maitland is one of the top art dealers in the United States. He has been for 10 years. What a great guy. What are you looking back there for? The cops, they're following us. In the back on the right, Page Ford. Damn, he's quick. You could honestly follow me for three weeks and I would not even notice. My husband has said so many times, like, I was right there when I was waving and didn't see me. And I'm like, <laughs> or like, if he needs to pick me up somewhere and go outside, I'm like, I cannot find him. <laughs> Axel, how can you afford this? <laughs> they always charge me the single room rate. Oh. Oh. I'd like to order something from your late supper menu. But listen, I want you to deliver it to this beige Ford that's parked out on Wilshire. One beige shrimp salad sandwich. Okay, send one of those there, all right? And send down something for dessert. That's gonna be an expensive joke, this one. I'm gonna be in town I find out who killed Mikey. And I'm very seriously considering going down to that warehouse where it worked and checking that place out. And how are you planning on getting in? <laughs> Uh-oh. We're actually gonna see this happen. This dude is bleed. Good evening, sir. The hell is that? It's late supper, sir. Compliments from the Axel Foley. How do you know we were here? But uh, clearly you suck at following someone. I need a couple of bananas. How much are they? Well, the buffet plate is twelve fifty. You get peaches, plums, oranges, and banana. <laughs> How does he move so weird? Shh. Go ahead. Take those bananas. <laughs> he has a friend. Oof. Banana puree. Smoked banana. Can I get some uh, extra mayo? Certainly, sir. Thank you. Imagine! Imagine that! There's the Mercedes. We get rid of that stuff. Mmm, I'm hungry. What the hell are you doing? Oh god, in the middle of the street. No. Okay, you don't have to do anything. But when you hear glass and shit breaking, don't get scared, it's just me kicking in the window. Sit tight. Okay, thanks for the warning. Come on, Axel. Got her being all brave. I'd be like, see you tomorrow. <laughs> you find something? Coffee grounds. You know what this stuff is used for? Yeah, some people filter hot water through it and drink it. <laughs> 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 just grab myself some coffee. Uh oh. Busted. Wow, that's very nice. Ooh. They're right there, though. That's cool that they immediately found them. I'm driving. I've seen your car. Oh, shit, that's cold. <laughs> your car looks messed up. <laughs> Don't give me the keys. Well, he distracted us, sir. And how do you do that? Oh, this gets worse and worse. A late supper. And what did you have, Rosewood? Uh, I think it was a shrimp salad sandwich, oh, sir. Oh. Oh, shrimp salad. This is so humiliating. I want you two to go back to the hotel and wait for Foley to show up. And if you lose him again, don't bother calling in. By the way, let me know if I've seen these actors in other stuff, right? Because right now I don't really... Anti-banana oh. oh. disguise. Oh. Oh. That's actually pretty funny. It has nose holes. They hold our foreign shipments here till they clear customs. Well, I'm gonna go check it out. Just take the car and go home, okay? Yeah, and how are you gonna get home? Walk? In the middle of the night? Or dead in a coffin if they find you? How you doing? Can you come in for a second, please? Smart. Act like you belong. Are you security here? Yeah. Then you're the fucking problem. Go get your supervisor, please. Now! Oh, uh, don't use your badge against him. He's just doing his job. Poor guy. What do we do now? We wait. And I hate waiting. We can order supper. <laughs> I'm Inspector Raffer, the United States Customs Service. How can a black man, dressed like me, just march into your warehouse, walk into the bonded area, and start poking around without anyone asking me any questions whatsoever? Well, I don't know. We're gonna check the background of each and every crate in this section, starting with this one right here. What a coincidence. You know, it says here that by the time the average American is 50, he's got five pounds of undigested red meat in his bowels. What? What makes you think I have any interest in that at all? Why did they write this? Well, you eat a lot of red meat. <laughs> five pounds, sir. You got some kind of warrant for this? <laughs> How would you like for me to have the IRS come down here and crawl up your fucking ass with a microscope? Because they'll do it, and you guys will be out of business Permanently, if I don't get some cooperation. Is that understood? That's not my Porsche, no, sir. I don't know whose it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, quicker. Wow, I did not expect him to be so, like, telling you like it is. 
You know, I notice you've been drinking a lot of coffee lately. Well, I think that's why you have a hard time relaxing. Imagine having a buddy and you need to patrol together all the time, but you cannot stand being in the car with them. Does that work for a long time? Because, mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a cocky son of a bitch, aren't you? Look, man, if you're still mad about the banana thing, I'm sorry, all right? Yeah, very funny. Lieutenant Doc, there's two days pay. What? He's not kidding. So if you mess up, you don't get paid? I'm a fellow police officer. I know what it's like to be in a stakeout. When I send that food down to you guys, that was from the heart. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? We all go get something to drink and make up and be friends, huh? Hey, I'd be really pissed off too if I wouldn't get paid for two days. We don't drink on duty. Do you not have like a Coca-Cola? I found the perfect place. I saw it on the way over here today. It's perfect for you guys. Trust me. Oh! <laughs> Well, at least if you see your co-workers there, it's embarrassing for everybody and not just you. Oh, the music is so good in this one. Billy! Billy! Billy's you busy. You don't embarrassed if your dick gets hard. <laughs> see? That's the whole object of this. <laughs> yeah, I ain't on duty, so my dick can be hard. Oh, my God! Excuse me. I love how Billy's having the best time. Poor Tiger, something's going on there. Interesting. I love how he keeps like moving like nothing is going on. See that guy over there in the black coat? Yeah. Well, it's June. Don't you think it's kind of hot for a long black leather coat? <laughs> Something's getting ready to go down. Why don't you go over there and cover that guy for me, all right? Suddenly we're back on a job. No bullshit this time. <laughs> I love how he just keeps moving. <laughs> Philip! Hey, Philip, give me a kiss, baby! Hey! Wow, okay. Phil! Get your hands on the table! <laughs> What's wrong, man? What's all the Get hostility? Back, Be careful, dude. He might as well whack you. You changed, man. I'm, I'm telling change. you to get back. If you don't get back, I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. <laughs> Move and I'll kill you. Sorry for the disturbance, folks. Everything's under control. Yeah. Oh my god. I love how quickly they're all like, woo! Yeah, yeah, believe. Justice! <laughs> Back to dancing. Would you mind explaining to me what you and Rosewood were doing in a strip bar? Oh man, he can't cut a break. Catch a break. These guys waited outside, and the only reason that they came in was because they saw two suspicious looking gentlemen. Well, it turns out that these guys were gonna commit a robbery, sir. He's making friends, all right. And then they foiled the crime. Mm. So I don't know what you teach these fellows, but they're not just regular cops, they're super cops. Super cops. <laughs> Is this what really happened? Just say yes. No, sir. Oh, come on. Detective Foley deserves all the credit for the arrest. We appreciate your assistance, but in the future, if you want to practice law enforcement, I would prefer you did it in Detroit. And within the boundaries of the law. <laughs> the super cop story was working. <laughs> He's kind of right. They could have taken it and run with it. Foster, McCabe, your turn. Don't lose him. Not a chance, sir. Oh, they're so cocky. But these guys became kind of close. No? Mm. Wow. That's not nice. Good luck to them. We'll see if they can do better. Morning, gentlemen. Some coffee and donuts? What? Coffee and donuts. And milk. There he is. Banana. Bang, bang. Sorry, I need to stop doing that. But it's so catchy. We're not gonna fall for a banana in the tailpipe. You're not gonna fall for the banana in the tailpipe? <laughs> my true brother should flow out like this. Look, man, I ain't falling for no banana in my tailpipe. His <laughs> voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just fucking with you. That's funny to me, sorry. <laughs> They're not in the mood. You look a lot like you're on a stakeout. I'm picnicking. This is like a picnic area. It's go time. Oh man, I saw this video of a girl and she was like, oh, they forgot to take the plastic off my boyfriend's car, his new car. And she was like peeling off the, how they blind the back windows, like the black sticker. Oh, yikes. <laughs> and she was like, it comes off so difficult. <laughs> Although I do feel with the internet right now, you don't know if people do dumb things. Are they serious or not? Like, is it fake or not? But still, she still peeled it off, no matter if the video was fake or not, so... <laughs> what the hell's he doing? 
Yes! <laughs> That's the smartest way to win a chase. <laughs> Don't engage in a chase. It looks like the same guy that gave them the breakfast. Can you put this in a good spot? All this shit happened last time I parked here. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Damn, that must be easy to just get out and then you get your car back when you want to. Ugh, looking for a parking spot sometimes really stops me from wanting to go somewhere. Oh yes, Victor Maitland, the gray-haired gentleman, very dark skin, Capricorn. Damn, his beard is like perfectly done. Tell him that um, Ramon went to the clinic today and I found out that I have <gasps> Herpes Simplex 10. <laughs> oh, perhaps you better tell him that. Not very professional to not want to tell him yourself. I guess Ramon will have to do it. <laughs> Victor, I got myself some herpes after our last meeting. <laughs> Hi, Victor. I'm back. <laughs> Why don't you get the hell out of here, cuz? Get the fuck away from me, man. <laughs> so many fruits and vegetables were wasted in this movie. And some pie, I guess, too. So weird to see him with hair. I have nothing to say to you. That's cool. I'll do all the talking. Nobody does anything. They're just standing there. I don't know from under what stone you crawl or where you get these ridiculous ideas about me. But it seems painfully obvious you haven't the slightest fucking idea who you're dealing with. Damn, he's gonna get him killed if he's not careful. Please step away from the table, sir. Took him long enough. For a premium club? He's still standing there with the cream all over him. <laughs> Why are you bothering Victor Maitland? I had a friend named Michael Tandino that used to work for Victor Maitland. And Maitland had him killed. I can't prove that right now, but when I do, you'll be the first to know. Talk to me. Oh. Oh. Maitland is paying someone so his guys can get the shipments out of customs before they get inspected. They take the drugs or the bonds out of the crates and they send it back before customs even knows what's going on. Feels like The Wire season two. Exclusive now on Patreon. <laughs> but I found coffee grounds all over the warehouse. You said something about that before. What does that mean? Drugs are sometimes packed in coffee grounds. The scent throws off the dogs. Why does the other guys don't know? Like I get that we as regular folk don't know, but like how did they not know? <laughs> We don't have enough to get a search warrant. Come on, guys. I know how we can get around. We don't get around search warrants in Beverly Hills. Look, I haven't uh, been sir? on the forces. Uh oh. Is this a gentleman who crashed through Victor Maitland's window? Who disabled a non mark unit with a banana? <laughs> Lieutenant, I'd like to see you in your office. It's funny. You always see these important men, and there's always a more important man above that important man. Is this the man? Or... <laughs> Look, can the guy hear me through the wall? Yeah, yes, you can. can. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. Take Detective Foley back to his hotel room, watch him pack, and escort him to the city limits. Yikes, sir. Drag him out. But the chief says if you return to the city of Beverly Hills, the charges will be reinstated, and you will be prosecuted to the limit of the law. Well, he seems to have enough to, to follow You want to tell that to the chief? That's so sad. This doesn't look good. Where do we go from here? Victor, hi. I love her hair. Like, the time of work it must take to get ready in the morning. Jenny, there's a gentleman in town from Detroit who says he's a friend of Michael Tandino. Well, we uh, grew up in the same neighborhood. He told me that uh, Mikey'd been killed. What does he want from her? Jenny, darling, you wouldn't by any chance know where Foley is staying, would you? Oh, this is so tense. We'll have dinner soon, yes? Well, that'd be lovely. Take care. Ooh, that was tense. Not looking forward to that dinner. They're expecting another shipment in today. I wish I could, but I can't. Why? I get it. Like, I want you to be a superhero, but I would also be scared for my job. I got a hunch, okay? That's a technique by which many crimes outside of Beverly Hills get solved. <laughs> He's proven it right earlier. All they asked me to do is drive you out of town. I love how he works in law enforcement and is like, ugh, everything's around the book, like, ugh. <laughs> I work in law, so I'm so like, <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> that's Serge. Yo, Serge, can you get my friend an um, espresso? You want a bit of lemon twist? Uh, yeah, sure, if it's no bother. No, don't be stupid. <laughs> What's his accent? 
Look, Axel, if this has anything to do with Mikey getting killed, then I want to go check it out for myself. Earl, no. Wait a second. Let me get my keys, and we'll argue on the way. <laughs> right, don't make a move until I come out and get you. I don't see why I can't come in. You can't go in because you're a cop in this town. Good guy, Billy. Oh, this song is gonna be going through my mind for a week, isn't it? Ding, ding. Coffee? Yeah, there's coffee on top. Yes! This ain't sugar. Welcome to the party. Billy! Billy! Are you surprised you're not dead yet? <sighs> Come on, Billy, make some right calls. This is your moment. How nice. I do like surprises. I don't. I really don't like surprises, actually. <laughs> do you like surprises? I think it's a good question because I feel like it tells a lot about a person. Pedro, listen Shut up! up! Okay, guess the dinner's off. What are you gonna do with him? I think you should be more worried about what we're going to do with you. Yeah, sorry, but as a woman, I'd be. <laughs> Thanks for having me over, Vic. This is very nice. <laughs> oh. He's just like wondering, like, oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Something happened. Are you still pissed at me? Oh, no, but I should have taken care of you in Detroit. You should have actually, I think. When I popped your little buddy. Wow. <coughs> wow, that's disgusting. Okay. Have a nice day. I'll try. Hello, Billy. Let's wake the F up. Do some policing. Oh, he's m worried more. Pfft. Now my day is really ruined. <sighs> oh, oh, he almost acted. Oh. Uh, the poor lad. <laughs> How's that little bump on the head doing? I gave you in Detroit, huh? Oh, I would give him a knee. <clears throat> oh, he got a knee. Freeze! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Thanks, man. Billy! Woo! <laughs> Billy's like. <laughs> Never been so excited before. Billy, what the hell is going on? Just check out the warehouse and please don't say anything to Bogle Mill. Move it! You two check that place out, then find me and let me know what the hell is going on over there. Wait, so now he can give orders? Okay. Hold it right there, Foley. You're under arrest. I stole my gun and forced him to bring me here. No, he didn't, Sarge. <laughs> He's just standing there. Yeah, I was so forced. Look, man, I'm gonna open up this door and I'm going inside. You wanna stop me? Shoot me. Me too. Billy. Ooh, Billy switched sides. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm sorry, Sarge. I've got to. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa! That smile on his face. <laughs> he got out the good stuff. Foley's on the grounds. Get some people out there right away. I wouldn't leave this room. Whoa, I was a pool. Oh man, I kind of wish I could live like a month like that, you know? Although with these mega houses, I'm always wondering if it's not like inconvenient that if you're looking for someone, you need to go like four rooms. Like I get that having space is nice, but I feel like, I don't know, isn't that limited to just having your regular space and then maybe one or two extra rooms, but not everything being extra, extra large. <laughs> Amazing. Look at this team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh! Oh, that looked like a, that looked painful. Who lives at that address? A hey, Victor Maitland, sir. <laughs> so like, damn it. <laughs> this is good team building. Oh! Oh, I bet you're doing all of that and then you die. Good shot. You all right? <gasps> Malé. Damn, repairing this is gonna cost a lot of money. Drop it! He got him. Damn, the, these guys all suck. It's 
just feels like Star Wars, right? Where it's like 100 against 1. <laughs> they still lose. <laughs> Police! You're all under arrest! If you do that again, I'll shoot you myself. <laughs> Poor guy. Ooh, the art. No way that he got him. No. He's gonna come from the other side. I love the style though. Is it like Spanish? Ooh. You know what I keep thinking about? You know the end of Butch Cassidy? The Redford and Newman are almost out of ammunition. <laughs> and the whole Bolivian army is out, out in front of this little hut. Dude, focus. I'm gonna make you pay for this. Billy is seeing a medal in his future. <laughs> Oh. Whoa, okay. Oh no, not the big evil villain. Or leaves a trail. <laughs> Security is out. Goodbye. Whoa, what? Oh no. Don't do it. Freeze! Huh. Whoa! Darn! I don't think he's going to court. <laughs> Police! You're all under arrest! He's loving this moment. That's. What I've been thinking of wanting to be a cop since I was 10 years old, screaming, you're all under arrest. Everything you say can and will be used against you in court law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't pay for an attorney, one will be assigned to you. Rodman! I'm coming here from wearing cops. What? He isn't actually in custody, sir. Well, place him in custody. Would you like me to do it? Well, that would only look ridiculous, so go ahead. You have a report that explains all this. Yes, sir. We're at the scene of the crime. <laughs> Miss Jeanette Summers, the manager of Mr. Maitland's art gallery, accidentally discovered large quantities of a substance she suspected was cocaine in the art gallery's warehouse. But Detective Foley was at the time uh, cooperating in a joint Beverly Hills, Detroit investigation of narcotics trafficking. Detectives Foley and Rosewood, responding to Miss Summers, nice. proceeded to the warehouse, where Rosewood did in fact discover approximately 80 kilos of cocaine. Oh, we already have the numbers. Okay. And in the course of defending ourselves, we shot several suspects. You expect me to believe that report? Yes. Let's go have a coffee. Sergeant Taggett, why don't you tell me what happened? We need to listen to this again. Happened just like the lieutenant said, chief. Yes, he ain't no snitch. If they all just say the same things, there's no, not an issue, right? Well, it's, I suppose congratulations are in order. <laughs> wow, that's so painful, right? Going from bah, 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 to ingrams. Everybody, breathe. <laughs> I was wondering if you could, like, do me a favor, sir. I think your favors are all used up. <laughs> it's just that I was hoping that you could, like, call in my Inspector Todd, straighten things out for me, but that's all right. I will talk to Inspector Todd first thing tomorrow. That's nice. One moment, sir. I'll get your bill. Run. <laughs> hey, guys, you don't have to come down to see me off, but I'm very moved by the gesture. Thank you. You'll need that help because he's going to get arrested if he can't pay this bill. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. The <gasps> Beverly Hills Police Department is picking that up. Oh, get out of here. Did he know the bill? Sir, do you sell those Beverly Palm robes down here? Well, money is no object. Put them on my tab. Okay, guess it's not a problem. <laughs> the accountant is going to be like, guys. <laughs> I want you to have this fine Beverly Palm robe. Each time you get out of the shower, you're dripping wet for the rest of your life. I want you to think about our friendship. I want you to think about Axel Foley. I love you, Belly. So sweet. This is for you. No, that's all right. You keep it as a souvenir. He's like, I don't have to think about you every time I come out of the shower. I already have three of them in my bag. <gasps> oh, 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 okay. The bag is just both ropes. Why aren't you guys going to tell me to the city limits anyway? Yes, we are. I was thinking about stopping off and getting something to drink, though. Oh. Well, I don't think one beer is going to kill us, Billy. Look at Tiger. Character development. I know the perfect place. You guys will love it. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Oh, that was so much 
fun. And there's more of these, right? There's at least a second. I don't know if there's a third, but like, oh, this was so much fun. Oh, for a perfect day. Oh, as a relaxation after cleaning the house and just being an adult and then just sit back and be like, ah. Oh listening to fun music, good funny movie. I kind of expected it with people voting for this movie so much that this was gonna be great. But yeah, sometimes it's hard. Like it can be a good funny movie, but today I really, really had so much fun. Other than that, I kind of don't want to say about it. That's the problem that I have with comedies. Like it was good fun. Then what? Music was great, acting was great, hilarious. Should I watch the other Eddie Murphy movie? Let me know. What was it? Going to America? Do you don't need to watch the second Beverly Hills Cops? I enjoyed the side characters as well, like Tucker and Billy were a lot of fun to watch. Just an overall good time and sometimes, yeah, that's why I love this channel, you know? Other, like, also this channel, I would never discover movies like this. Just sit down and having a really good time. I would be still cleaning maybe, I don't know. Anyway, if you like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Full reaction and edited versions are available on Patreon two weeks uh, before they arrive on here. So if you want to see other stuff as well, other shows as well that have not been released on YouTube yet, you can find those over on Patreon. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye!